Hello, my name is Alan from Yardcraft, and today I'm going to show you how to put together the elevated garden planner in five easy steps. So I have everything laid out here. I have the assembly manual here. You can look at the assembly manual to make it really easy. If you have everything laid out here, it will be really easy to put together. So you have your bottom rail, you have your long pieces, full pieces, one long half piece, and your top 2x4 rail. Each side is the same. These are just shorter. They're laid out the same as I, I just explained here. So you have everything there. You have everything here. Make sure you have all your pieces laid out. And then you have your back small side as well. The key to making sure you set this up right is to make sure that you have your posts laid out the correct way. You can see I have the posts laid out this way. They're facing each other. The grooves are up here and facing this board here, this post here. And this one's also facing up. So now we're going to put the bottom rail with the small piece of the groove together first. So you put it in your post and make sure that your grooves right here line up. Make sure these grooves line up. Take your second post, pop it in place, make sure the grooves line up. Now you're going to want to find a bag with the long screws. Take two long screws, and today I'll be using the power screw gun. You just put pressure on your post. Make that snug. Turn over to the other post. Okay, so now we're gonna now we're gonna turn around and do the same thing on the other side. We're gonna put the short rail on the other two posts. So when you put when you're putting your screw in, you want to make sure that it's no longer visible here. So you just countersink it a little bit. Get both posts together with the bottom small rail. You're gonna grab the long bottom rail. Take it right here like this, making sure your grooves line up right here. Again, grab a long screw into the pre-drilled hole. You can give it a couple of turns. Use your power screw gun. Sure. Countersunk just the same way as you did your bottom rail. Go to the other side, do the same thing. Grab the long rail. Make sure your grooves line up. Grab another long screw. And I like to give them a couple of turns. Okay, so we have the bottom rails together. I'm going to show you the last step on the bottom to put the bottom rails together. Okay, so we're going to pick this up, we're going to make this, come back here, set up this piece right here like this, pull this up in place, making sure all your grooves line up, grab two more long screws, if you look underneath here, there's a pre-drilled hole, give it a couple of turns to get it started, your power screwdriver, go to the other side and do the same thing, okay so that's the bottom part, the base, and that's the hardest part of the project. And now you're ready for your side pieces. Your side pieces are your tongue and groove boards. You're going to want to make sure your tongue and groove is up. You slide that in the grooves. Right like this. Line it up. You can move your post around a little bit to make it fit. Slide that down in place and make sure it's all the way down the bottom. Grab your second piece. The tongue needs to be up. Groove in the bottom. Slide it in the groove. Sure it's tight, you tap it in place. Grab your third piece, is the half piece. And again, you're gonna to wanna to make sure your groove is down. Slide in place, tap it in place. Okay, that's the one side. Now you go to the other side, do the exact same thing. The tongue needs to be up, groove in the bottom. And you get your half piece, make sure the the groove is down. Tap it in place, make sure everything's tight. And you're gonna see on the top of the post here, it does stick up a little bit. That's the way it's supposed to be. That is so that the top piece fits in its groove and locks in place. So that is that is the correct way of doing it. Now you go to your back side, same way. Tongue up, grooves down. 
And sometimes they're a little bit tight. Make sure that your, po your posts are, are able to move so that it fits. That's normal. Tap it down in place. Make sure it's on the bottom. Second piece. Third piece. Groove down. Front, do the same thing. Make sure your tongue is up, groove is down. Again, you can move your post around a little bit if you need to. Make sure it's down. Make sure everything locks in, groove down. And that's all your side pieces. Okay, so now when you have all your side pieces in, it's very important make sure that all your posts are level and tight and snug in place. As you can see, there's a gap right here. You want to make sure you pull the two posts together and go around and do that on all four corners, making sure everything is square and snug. This will level out your posts and make sure that your top rails line up square. So now I have everything tight there, there, there. Make sure all your corners are tight here. Here, everything's tight. Okay, when you're done with that, you're ready for your top rails. You start with your top rails, making sure your angles are facing towards the planter, the middle of your planter, inside of the planter. Just go right around. sure that your grooves are all being locked in. Come to your last piece. Make sure the groove fits. And then you go around and square everything up and make sure that it comes out right in the middle of the post. Okay, so we have the sides in. We have the top rails in place now. So I'm going to go around and get my screws started. I like to pre-start my screws. So you should have eight long screws walk around and put one in every pre-drilled hole. Now when you have that done, grab your screw gun and go to one corner. It doesn't matter which corner you start at, but just start at a corner and make sure that your your angle pieces are lined up. I got this, this one that's lined up, so you tighten this one. Move over to the other side. Again, pulling your pieces together, making sure that they line up. Good idea to make sure you pull your top piece together a little bit, put a little bit of pressure on it before you use the screw gun. You want to screw it down and just countersink it about an eighth of an inch, not more than that. Now we're going to take the small screws, got a bag of small screws, and we're going to go around, get these guys started, just give them a couple of turns, see as they're sitting there. And all the pre-drilled holes, you should have two pre-drilled holes there, one in here, Two on each side, on the long side, and one in the short side. So you get them pre-started. Go around. And again, only countersink about an eighth of an inch. Okay, so when I have all my screws in on the top, there's a couple more screws to put in. On the, now on the bottom, when you go put your small screws in, when you look under the bottom, you'll see there'll be four holes. There's two holes on each end that are bigger. Those are drain holes. In the middle, there's be two more pre-drilled screw holes like they were on the top. The big holes are the drain holes. You do not want to put screws in there. Get those two screws started, and then you just drive them up. Countersink them like you did the other one. Short side, we did the long side. Now you want to move over to the short side. There should be one hole in the middle. 
pre-drilled screw hole in the middle. And you will have one screw left over. It should be one extra long screw, one extra short screw. All right, so now we're ready for the last step. It's super easy. You just need to put your slats on the bottom. There should be a stack of these. And you should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces. One with a groove, store it out on the end. Just lay them in there. Grooves go to the end. The rest of them are, are square. Put them in like this. And you don't want them tight because you want the water to be able to drain through the soil and down through the planter. So you do not want them tight so there's room for a little bit of spacing, maybe an eighth of an inch between the boards. Something like that. It's not a Lay everything in here. Now you have a little bit of spacing between each one. This is the last step. You just lay this inside the planter. And it comes up on the sides. And you're ready for your soil and ready to be used. All right, okay, so that was super easy. And thanks to Yardcraft, I am now ready to grow my own food.